All right, you guys know what time it is, man. First and foremost, I really got to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for coming through for you, boy. We had 1,250 signups max out, and to reward that, man, we're going to have a 10-hour stream this Friday on YouTube all mutt. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to that, man. I'm going to try to start it at 2 Eastern, and it will end. That way, I can end at about midnight. That way, I can get some sleep for the next, uh, you know, for going into the next day. So, um, this week, again, they're doing another console giveaway. Just simply click the link of this video or any one of my videos, man. You'll see right here. Sign up for free to play Weekly Fantasy. You click that link. That link. You sign up if you have not already or you log in. And uh, you simply go to the main lobby. And uh, first off, hold on, man. Looks like I got a daily bonus. Let me click the one in the middle. 200 gold and an entry ticket. Five days in a row I've got this. So the coins actually get bumped up to 1,000. So I'll gladly go on ahead and take that. Accept and send it. Look at my coins go up. Bam! People sending me gifts. You send them gifts too, man. You got to remember, look at the bottom. Gifts sent will not reduce your current gold balance. They are free to send. So I'm going to send everybody free 50 coins, man. I'm going to click on my daily bonus right here, 100 gold. And last week, I was close, man. I had a really good lineup. I finished out of the 1250. I finished uh, top, like, 60. I had OBJ. I had um, Le'Veon Bell. I had LaShawn McCoy. But I had Big Ben, who didn't really do too much of anything, and my tight end didn't do too much of anything either. But uh, you simply just sign up and sign in. This week is just a $50 PSN or Xbox One gift code and the console. So... Uh, let me uh, do my lineup for the console. Let me go on ahead. No, I already uh, did a lineup. Okay. Let's take a look at my lineup. So, I went with Big Ben again. I got Le'Veon Bell. I got OBJ. I went with Jimmy Graham, and I got Brandon Cooks. Wish I started Brandon Cooks last week, man. So, uh, I actually got 10K coins. So, let's open up. Let's open up uh, two Ruby Packs instead of one Emerald. Let's open up two Rubies. Now, Ruby Pack gives you better odds at rare cards. So, let's go ahead and open up these packs. I desperately need a tight end. Come on, baby. Let's see some glitchy. And, ah, fortunately, we don't get too much. Oh, we got a Carlos Hyde, though. Not much boost to rushing touchdowns, but it's a big reception boost, though. But, eh, okay, next pack. Just going to hit the reveal wall cheese, man. Hopefully, we get something. Oh, we don't get anything. I mean, we get a rare Sterling Shepard. But, dang it, we got two commons. Right, we didn't get too much of anything. But, um, hey, listen, if we somehow maxed out at 2,000, 24-hour stream, I don't know what we're going to do, man. What are we going to do? I don't know. We got to celebrate if we can somehow finish that up, man. Go on ahead, sign up. Really, really, really helps me out a lot, man. So, uh, you know, greatly appreciate anybody who takes the time to go ahead and do that. Let's jump into the video now. What up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? You boys, welcome back to another Madden 17 online gameplay. And, man, listen, if we somehow can reach 2,000 signups... I'm that league. I, I'm. I'm. I'm a. T I don't know. We got. We. We got to celebrate in fashion. We got a 10-hour stream coming up this Friday on YouTube for you guys. And um, 20. If we get 2,000, I don't know, man. We may. Shoot, I, I may. I may bust around and do a 24-hour stream next Friday, man. Just no, but just mutt, madden, and gauntlet. I hate gauntlet because I can't freaking win. But anyway, 0-0, zero, zero, man. We are two games away from going ahead and finishing my first perfect season. Since going ahead and they implemented the new tickets for the 10-win season, man. So we're out on defense. And we out here just looking large, man. We sending hate as we got an A-gap and some edge heat right there. But the coverage is absolutely horrible, man. But right there, he doesn't find a read. And we end up getting an incomplete pass. So here he goes on third and 10. And uh, I covered the wrong route. So this man was calling like the same play. Like nine times in a row. I don't, I don't, I, I mean, it was the, the the damn post by the tight end. It just post tight end, post tight end. Right here, he tries to hit me with the slant, but we get there faster before he can go faster. Is that, you know what I mean? Bow! What's your punk ass on the ground, man? So here we go on fourth and three right here. He's going to go on ahead and try and run the ball, but he runs right in. Is that the Marcus Ware? Probably is the Marcus Ware. Even if it isn't, I'm going to say the Marcus Ware to make myself feel better because I, I paid a lot of coins for him and I haven't really seen much, anything yet. Um, You know what? Let me tell you guys a story real quick. True story. I cannot make this up. This just randomly made me uh, think about this. So, um, true story, and I need you guys not to judge me. Look at McCoy. He's such a goon. He's such a... Damn it! LaShawn! You got four point five yard line! The five! The five! Out of every... The five! Damn it! Anyways, uh, I don't I, I don't really use Facebook... I don't really use Facebook like that because I don't know what the hell it is I'm doing. So, rarely... Do I use Facebook every now and then? I'll just go and post something, but 
Uh, I don't really know how to use the damn website. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really go on there like that. But I see one of my boys, one of my homeboys, uh, who used to live in Connecticut, who I used to work at Walgreens from. Name is Thomas. It's my boy, man. It's my homeboy. And uh, he used to live out there in Atlanta. And I got bros in Atlanta. I got bros in Atlanta. Panda, panda. I got bros in Atlanta with the scammers. Scammers. It's a bad Run, 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 run that bad boy into the end zone. One time. So uh, my boy Thomas used to live in ATL. And he came down here to Connecticut. And he started working. I was, we were both like... 16, 17, and um, we were cool, man. We got I get along with everybody. I'm a goofball. You understand what I'm saying? I have the type of personality where I can get along with pretty much anybody. I'm, a, I'm one goofy bastard. You know, I love to joke around, and he's the same way. You know, he, he just has a crazy personality, and we got along very well. And uh, he liked the girl at the store. Her name was Cindy. She was so cool. And I liked the girl, and her name was... Lorena, Lorena Perez, and she was Cuban. She was a pretty young thing too. Lorena was a pretty young thing, man. Mm. Anyways, uh, so you know we used to work and, and um, you know every time we were there, we always try to back at the two girls and you know he'd go for Cindy and I'd go for Lorena and uh, you know we became boys, man. We became cool. So little uh, later on, you know, he started driving, you know, before I did. And, you know, he, we would go hang out, drive around, and, uh, you know, a couple other coworkers and stuff. So a few times, um, this is back when I was going to the gym, and uh, he had started wanting to go to the gym. I was like, yo, why don't you just come with me to my gym? You know, it's only like five bucks to, you know, since I'm a member, it's only like five bucks for you to come uh come in for the day like you know i got you it's only five bucks like you know because it gets boring by your damn self so he's like i bet we'll go to the gym a few times so we would go and you know we would hit the treadmill you know we'd go play some basketball shoot some hoops you know your boy just is nice to hoops man nice i if I, I i i really believe if i had a clean three more inches to myself i think i could have played college ball nothing crazy i wouldn't have been a division one school made the pros hell no i'm not saying that you know i'm not that good but i believe you know i'm about 5 11 6 foot i believe if i was you know 6 3 i think i could have played some college ball you know maybe a small college and and uh you know been able to play a little bit i was definitely good uh but uh yeah so we would go you know go to the gym and work out and stuff and then we would always hit the sauna and we would hit the hot tub now the thing with the sauna is that Old people are always there just booty butthole naked. I'm talking about just ding a ling swanging. Just swanging. Swang. I mean, they just let it all hang out, you know? Like, just just Boss Johnson dance. You understand what I'm saying? Just crazy. And uh, I would never do that. I would always go, you know, maybe I would go with no shirt, but I would always have some shorts. Always. You know, but, um, you know, we would go out, you know, and have on like a muscle shirt and some shorts and he would have on, you know, like a, a shirt or he'll, he wouldn't have no shirt after playing ball, whatever, he'll have some shorts on or whatever. <clears throat> we'll just be chilling in the sauna and, you know, talking to the old heads, man. They'll be, they'll be there and, you know, tell them, you remember back in World War II? Uh, you know, I, I was born 11 years ago. Like, I don't, I don't remember when milk was 11 cents a gallon. I don't recall, you know, I wasn't there. You know, back during the depression, during, you know, like, I, I don't know, all, I don't know any of that stuff, man. I wasn't there for none of that, you know, <laughs> but, um, you know, we would, we would go to the sauna about, you, uh, we would go to the gym about a few times a week and then we'd hit the sauna right before we always uh, did our aerobics and then we would always uh, hit the hot tub right after that. So we hit the sauna for, you know, a clean 20 minutes and then we'd hit the, the hot tub for a little bit. And then we'd, uh, we'd end up, we'll just be out. Now, some of you guys may be like, yo, that's gay as almighty hell. You're just chilling with another man in the hot tub and the sauna. Listen, man, we all, we all, we there to work out and stuff like that. We don't give a damn, you know what I mean? <coughs> it's my homeboy. And many, many, many years later, fast forward to maybe two years ago, Thomas has a post on Facebook saying, now, mind you, I've, I've never told anybody this. <laughs> uh, he has a post saying, you know, I got to be my true self. I got to be who I really am. And I'm bisexual. I've been this way. I've known I've been this way since I was 
I don't know how young, and I just feel like I got to be myself and be free. So I read that and I respond. You know what I mean? Like I don't, <coughs> I could care less if somebody is gay or or um, bisexual, whatever. You know, I have all respect for you know, do whatever it is you do to that makes you happy. You know, like. Uh, people even say, would you want your son to be gay? I mean, do I want my son to be gay? No, I would like him to be, you know, traditional and have himself a wife. But if he turns out to be gay, I'm going to support him every single, you know, every way that I can. I'm not going to let him, uh, you know, have less love for me because that's who he is. You know, I want him to be happy. And if that's what makes him happy, by all means, I'm going to support him 100%. Now, I'm a goofball. I will have jokes, especially if he's the female of the group. I'ma had jokes. <laughs> what's, your, what's your boyfriend gave you for Christmas? Huh? You get a little purse. You get a little purse. A little Tinkerbell. You know, I'ma had jokes, but no matter what, you know what I mean. I'ma support my son to the day that I die, no matter uh, who he falls in love with. You know. But I just thought it was crazy. That, you know, so I sent him a message on Facebook. I replied. I was like, listen, man, don't even worry about it, man. Listen, you're a good dude. Um, you know, you always was cool with me. When you coming back down so we could chill, eat some hot wings, man, because he always talked about Atlanta hot wings. How we always miss Atlanta hot wings. But that what I really thought about it. I was like, wait a minute. This man was in the sauna watching me sweat in front of him. And he always wanted to go to the sauna a little too much. And straight to the hot tub a little bit. He ain't never tried nothing. You know, but I mean, now that I think back, you know, the way he looked. I, I, we're just going to go ahead in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy, man. It's my man Thomas. No matter what, man, I, I got nothing but love for him, man. I still, I go to the sauna with my man right now. It's my homeboy. No homo stuff, man. It's your boy GS, man. Hopefully you guys enjoy. We end up winning, and we are one win away from finishing my first perfect season since they implemented the new season rewards. It's your boy GS, man. Follow me on Twitter. Sign up if you guys are not already for the MVP draft, man. It really helps me out a lot. See you guys next video. Peace.